Good evening for everybody. Uh, my name is Lajos Ratz and uh, our course title Birth of World Economic System. Uh, unfortunately we are a little bit tight but a uh, number of students who registered to this course much larger than the size of uh, this lecture room but my experience is at least half of students never visit on the lecture room. Therefore it's enough. Finally, uh, about my course, I have to tell some fundamental information. My, the fundamental information, my name. About uh, communication, necessary to know that uh, uh, I speak English, uh, French, and a little bit German. There is a French student on the audience, not. Okay, no problem. Uh, anyway, with the Hungarian student, I am able to communicate Hungarian, of course. With Chinese, not. <laughs> uh, but I know a little bit Japanese. Japanese student? Yeah, not so much. But I worked together with one Japanese historian for one year, and I remember some words, not so much. Okay, uh, some basic information. This is a lecture. You know, this is the very uh, uh, conservative form of communication. I am the lecturer, you are the audience. But there are some possibilities of communication. Time by time, I will ask, I open the possibility of communication for the member of, of audience. But the most important information, I suppose, for everybody who registered to this, this course, how can take the credit and how uh, possible perform the exam. The basic information. Uh, the first is a lecture. I, I, I told about the uh, official framework, but I... I, I uh, Start the record button. Okay, it's work. But uh, once, uh, one time, uh, I started my lecture. Majority of my lecture, I take a video record and I uh, forget to push the button. I perform one of the best of my lecture. No any registration. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, three credits. To my last information, you will receive after perform this course. Three credits, not so much, but a little bit more than two. Uh, participation. Participation not mandatory. There are a lot of delicious programs at the same uh, time. Uh, not mandatory. Each of course, I take one video record. If somebody never participates, it's possible to watch each of lecture during the weekend, like for example a uh, uh, TV series, it's possible. <laughs> not the same, not the same the experience. This is the same participate in, for example, performance or look in the performance, uh, for example, a concert, a rock concert, not the same, looking in personally live version or, uh, for example, video records, but not mandatory, but I hate speak for wide lecture. Therefore, I apply some form of manipulation of the students. <laughs> if somebody never participates, no problem, no, no personal. Like a crime movie, says, I kill you, not for personal, this is my job. <laughs> yeah, not personal. But if somebody participates on the course, there is an audience for me, uh, I will read list of participants at the end of course. One part of my audience arrived five minutes before the end. Yeah. This is the uh, adaptation. It's, this is the most important engine of evolution, adaptation. <laughs> and for example, uh, two years ago, a, show, a small group of five persons arrived five minutes before the end on winter court. And not took off the winter calls because not this, I stay only five minutes. Okay, not mandatory, no problem, no consequences. But if participate quite regularly, I took into consideration. How is my secret? Participation, I take into consideration. I take, I, I, I open the gate for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Very useful uh, record, take a video record. My first uh, uh, experience is about preparation, my first video movie about my lecture. I load it up so much. Overrate. 
sorry. Okay. Uh, so, not mandatory. Participation at the course, not, not mandatory. But I will take into consideration. Uh, exam. The next information, exam is very far recently, but we are approaching step by step into the direction of exam, it May and June. Type of exam, written exam, this is the best solution. It's very easy to take a control and uh, compare and everything, written exam. I will ask two type of questions. Exam, oh sorry, it's <laughs> two years ago. But uh, uh, it's in the middle. I will change it in the middle of uh, uh, in the middle of May. I don't know exactly 15, 16. I don't know exactly. And to the end of uh, of June, I will cancel. Uh, questions. I will ask two types of questions. The first one, definitions. List of expected questions. I will load up to call space. Of course, everybody will see the list of not only the exam, which I'll take to the written exam, but the list of potential expected questions. Definition. Definition means, for example, how we can define the word economy system, very effects. And three, four, five sentences, not so much. The second one, short essays. Short essay, I will ask two short essays. But in English custom, English, English and American custom, there is a peculiarity. I will offer four options and you may select only two. There is options. Short, short essay, size of short essays depend on the size of letters. One page, one and a half page, not so much. Uh, okay? Evaluation. Uh, I will send personal evaluation for everybody. It's hard work, but I, will, I receive my salary for that. Uh, not so much. Uh, personal evaluation sent via Cospace, Cospace, sorry, Cospace, message service. There is a, a message service personally because I saved the personal right. Okay, how you are able to prepare for exam? The first way, regular participation on the course. And there is some surplus. With our records, I will load up to books and articles to call space. If somebody interested for the problems, you can read some books and, and, and uh, articles. And possible a personal cons consultation. If we are approaching to the period of uh, exam, you may ask consultation, personal consultation. The first electron. Uh, the slide series of my lecture, I will load up, come in. A lot of comfortable places on the first row. Uh, I will load up to the call space each of my slide series, and my slide series will start with my email address. You can ask, you can send me email message, and probably I will answer. Uh, after three, day, three, three or four days, you, you repeat the message because probably I forgot. Okay. Uh, Electronic. You may ask questions that I try to answer. The second one, personally, after the course. But unfortunately, I'm not the best for after the course because I speak one and a half hour continuously and uh, I'm so aged recently that not the best option after the course. And finally, uh, you can ask personal consultation in my office. In my office, not so far, in the, in the middle of corridor, on the first floor. Uh, room number uh, 1106. Okay. Uh, look at, at the, today, this is the introductory, introductory uh, lecture, introductory presentation. Okay, uh, after the general information, do you have a question concerning the course? Not mandatory, it's possible uh, compensate, uh, for example, with our video records, etc. And uh, I call your attention, this is excellent, uh, excellent possibility to construct, uh, for example, uh, personal relations. Because great advantage of this type of course, 
that students arrive different faculties, a lot of different faculties. The divorce uh, 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 peculiarity of university studies, everybody closed in the faculty, closed in the, in the specialty, and no possibility to communication. Only, for example, in pub, in, uh, in for example, clubs, but the, uh, uh, how, how, uh, cognitions. For, for, for the higher level of cognition, a lecture must much be much better place compared with the clubs and the, and the nightclubs and others. Okay, general information. Do you have some questions? Not. Okay, look at uh, the first time, the first occasion, each case of lecture has to construct the fundamental conceptual background. I try to speak about uh, basically historical economical questions. Yeah, other side. Uh, I never learned English officially. Uh, I, I learned English uh, how the name is, is uh, spontaneously. Uh, my first foreign language is French. Uh, I finished my university studies on the time of political uh, transformation of Hungary, uh, 89. And I received a scholarship to Switzerland. I stayed two years in Switzerland and I participated in the international team. And everything had to trans uh, translate to me uh, from English to French. And finally, the head of my research team walked at me and told to me two options. My way or highway, go back to Hungary. <laughs> or stay here, but necessary to learn English. In this morning, I walked into the bookshop of Bern University I bought one uh, uh, book of Thompson Martin of Practical English Grammar. I found 2,000 unknown words and I started to learn. Okay. Uh, therefore, I have a, a slight uh, Swiss accent because I learned as a Swiss citizen, not real citizen or uh, conceptual citizen, uh, to English. Okay. I try to speak. Loudly, it's not problematic to me because I am a deaf a little bit. Uh, loudly and slowly. If somebody not understand my communication, is not. It's not. My children similarly not able to understand. Uh, and I try to approach this problem for from other direction. Okay, not understandable. Stop at me and I try again. Okay. Uh, First time, have to define the fundamental concept. It's very important, very important. Because a rational cognition, about, so about the cognition, uh, necessary to speak a little bit because recently we are working in the temple or church of cognition, of rational cognition. But necessary to mention, there are three forms, direction, methodology of cognition. Everybody know what means the cognition? Cognition of the verb. Free direction. And free direction not compatible with, with each other. The first one, the rational cognition. Which is the peculiarity of the rational cognition? We are able to define the concept. For example, this is table. Not discussable, it's data. And we define everything, and if we mention this is a fact, verifiable and deniable, this is the rational verb. But with help of rational cognition, we are able to know, to approach one slice of the verb. Because Beside the rational cognition, there are two other forms of cognition. The second one, artistical, artistical cognition. For example, a painter, a sculpture cognition, a cognition of art, basically different. Not the, not, not, not the, uh, uh, the best artist never learn at the university. Learn in the pub. For example, in the community, in out of rational world. And the category of artistical cognition 
not possible to describe according to rational norms. Uh, in the 80s, 20th century, uh, we brought one movie, it's uh, uh, Society of Dead Poetry. Do you know this movie? Yeah. Uh, if somebody don't know, it's very easy to loading up, uh, lo lo loading down uh, from YouTube. For example, in the first half of 20th century, try to describe which is the uh, which is the rational description, manner of description of the beautiness of value of poem. And if you remember how many how, uh, how many person uh, watched the Society of Dead Poetry? Not so much. Not so much. Uh, try to describe. And for example, use a very simple graph for description. This is the form quality of form of poem and the quality of content. This is the style of rational cognition. If very high content, for example, this is form, and high form, high quality of form, it's free, <coughs> describe the quality of form, rational man. It's a sheet. It's not possible describe the quality of poem with a craft. The artistic cognition is basically different. But the rational world try to conquer even the art. It's not possible. It's the other side of cognition. And the third form of cognition, a spiritual cognition. A spiritual cognition. For example, meeting with God or goddess, it depends on the, on the theological structure. Come, come, come. Uh, for example, if we are looking at the Christian law, St. Paul met personally with Jesus on the crossroads of Damascus. Lost the consciousness, lost the capacity of eyes, lost everything. We are able to realize it. So poor guy. But we are able to understand what happened. Therefore, there is a very basic contradiction between rational cognition and spiritual cognition. In the rational cognition, no final cognition. If we are looking at the history of, of sciences, there is a, a limit of knowledge on the 60s, 70s, 80s, and change continues, no final cognition. Everybody able to learn who are uh, enough uh, intellectual capacity, but no final cognition. Rational way, no final cognition. Temporary cognition. Unbelievable, high, but temporary. In the way of spiritual cognition, there is a final cognition. But not able passing from one to other. Each spiritual cognition person. So, turn back. This is the Church of Rational Cognition, and I have license for rational cognition. We will focus on but very important to realize it's a limited cognition. A limited, no final, but limited cognition. Okay, look at the fundamental concepts. The first fundamental concept we are necessary to define space. The second one, time. Because a world economy system unfolded in space and in time. The next one, the concept of world economy system, how appeared and how unfolded. And finally, the world economy system, the roots of world economy system unfolded, appeared in Europe. Therefore, necessary to define the concept of Europe. So, look at the space. Look at the space. Everybody had uh, uh, some impression about the space. But look at the space. If we are looking at the space as a historian, because I studied history and geography, uh, and a little bit meteorology, and when I uh, took my university studies in the 80s, influenced the political life very deeply, the history, because uh, for politicians necessary to uh, construct some glories behind that. And paid a lot for history and construct it. But I tried to run as far as possible from the politicians, 
Therefore, I specialize in environmental history and, and deeply in the historical past. Uh, but if we are looking at the classical historical, for example, maps, historical guidebooks, the first impression about the historical space a distance. Each map had on the left, right, up or down corner a scale. How we can transform the distance on the map in the real life? The second information, a geomorphology, it's the surface, the landscape. If we are looking, for example, at this map about the Czech, Czechia, Bohemia, uh, Czech uh, principality. Uh, if we are looking the green one, it's a plain area, and the uh, gray or brown area, it's higher hilly or mountain area. And the last information, a uh, political structure or intellectual cultural structure. If we open a historical map like a patchwork, a different colors, different. If we are looking as a history and the space, these are the most important information. Look at the geography, because the most important science discipline of space is the geography. Look at the geography. A geographical space based on the spheres, the sphere system. For example, lithosphere. Little spot is the rock surface. Uh, the rock surface, because this basic structure of, uh, of Earth, the globe, this is the core area, mainly iron, the mantle area, the material, basic material of mantle area, we can realize in the case of volcano eruptions. This is the mantle, a rupture of Cross open the way for mantle area. And this is the crust. A crust is very, very, very tiny. The size of a crust change between 120 and 160 kilometers. So it depends on the comparison. Uh, but the, on the size of Earth, it's quite uh, tiny crust surface. This is the little surface. The second one, <coughs> a pedosphere. The pedosphere is a soil. My question, my first question today, for a second. Which is the size, the width of soil? How many meters? Average, in global average. Yeah, it's very, very interesting, the reaction. Because at quite a long time I uh, worked at the Central European University. This is the Budapest University, but the students arrived in different places. From China, from Canada, United States, Serbia, Kazakhstan, everybody, a lot of places. And very interesting behavior of students. Canadians and American students, it's very active. Arrived basically different uh, schools. It's an American, uh, American style schools. It's uh, learn for communication, for, for presentation, for construction of personal, and so and so. And European style school, the basic strategy, survival. <laughs> <laughs> and as neighbor, I perform the same. Why? Because from kindergarten to the secondary school, the most important goal, survive. Why? Because we are living under pressure of parents and teacher, parents and teacher, parents and teacher, and communicate each other. And uh, this, this is the, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, my school book, generally, during my elementary school, the fourth grade I signed. <laughs> Uh, because I, I was able to read, to, 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 to write uh, uh, very, very high quality uh, my mother's signature. <laughs> it's very, very interesting intellectual consequences because uh, when I visited the meeting with the teacher, uh, in the case of my, 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 my daughters, uh, I, I, I felt the same uh, neurological reaction. No any reason, because to my brain, 
it's uh, it's uh, uh, conserve uh, my uh, childhood uh, uh, mental uh, panic on the case of meeting have to meet with uh, with the teacher. Okay, my turn back. Basically, the European education based on survival and not find the eye contact and take my hand to the library, the most important nerve, serves. Yeah, try to communicate, it's very easy. You have to tell a number. No more, no argumentation, only one number. Up to Brain. five kilometers, up to five kilometers. Five kilometers, first of all. I ask two more offer. five kilometers. Size of soil. Question. Other teacher strategy. Select some person. <laughs> Personalize the problem. <laughs> you have to tell one and 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 activate the servant mentality. Yeah, I am servant. I have to tell something because I will. Okay. Five meters. Five meters, excellent. Half kilo, five meters. And nine meters. Oh, no. Nine meters. Nine meters? Yes. Okay, half meter. Half meter. Half meter. And whole of survival of humanity based on half meter. And the majority of soil is under chemotherapy. Not a normal soil, under chemotherapy with fertilizer, pesticide, and everything. And very, very interesting and very important, all of survival of humanity based on half global average, half meter soil. Okay, pedosphere. Hydrosphere. Hydrosphere is uh, uh, different, it's, it's very important, later I will speak about, but very important uh, that, uh, uh, I don't know exactly the date, but approximately, 95% uh, 95 95 of, uh, of uh, water, global water, salt water, salt water, left 5% fresh water, two thirds of fresh water on ice cap, it's a frozen water, and half of rest part of fresh water recently is in one lake. Which lake contain the largest fresh water? Baikal. Yeah, in Siberia. In Siberia. Not the best place. <laughs> uh, biosphere. Biosphere, the next one. We are the part of biosphere because there are a double uh, uh, nature of humankind. Beer of culture and animal. We are animal. For example, if I am missing a breakfast, I became very aggressive. It's an animal mentality. It's normal. Atmosphere. Atmosphere. Very important peculiarity. You are not. <laughs> but I socialized a basically different. I, I spent my childhood a small village. And the strategy of my mother was necessary to reach 100 kg. Under, under 100 kg in my village, each person, each man, only toy. <laughs> Not serious. And I remember my childhood. Each month we visited on the local doctor and my mother started Unfortunately, my son not want to eat. I was a total normal, a total normal. But my problem, I moved to urban environment. Here I'm too large. Not ideal place for me, but uh, very interesting. When I, when I uh, met with different people in urban environment and don't, don't know my profession, the best estimation about my profession I am security guard. <laughs> Once named to bus driver. 
But this was the highest. And I, I was very surprised why. And finally, finally, not in Hungary, but I worked in Germany and stopped, for example, on the street of, of München, Munich, one guy, and stopped at me, and I would like to ask a little help. Which kind of help? Have to bring a piano to the first floor, uh, third floor. Why stop at me? A lot of people walk on the street. Mm -hmm. And finally I realized three reasons are. The first one, my face, not so intellectual. Uh, eyeglasses help a lot, but <laughs> not so intellectual. If somebody imagine an intellectual person, not the same, it's much closer to the earlier phases of human evolution. <laughs> the first, the second one, uh, I'm, it's a little bit chunky, a little bit large in urban norms. And very important because during my childhood we worked uh, on the, on the, on the uh, different places. I worked with animals, horses and, and cows, and different places, necessary, necessary some uh, quantity of muscles. And when I moved to urban environment, if somebody larger and stronger, it's not so, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, um, connected not so high social status. Why? Because hard work, it's determined low social ranks job, job, sorry, job. And for example, a security guard, it's not, it's, it's not the high rank. It's high position in normal society, necessary intellectual qualities and, and, and fine gesture, and for example, a, a knowledge is how you have to use a fork and spoon. Uh, and I remember I participated in one conference in Italy, and uh, we participated in uh, uh, one uh, conference uh, uh, dinner in uh, Castle of Medici, family Medici. And we receive a lot of fork and a lot of spoon and knives. <laughs> In my case, <laughs> the forks expire a little bit earlier than any other, other person. <laughs> yes, I am not socialized, so complicated situation. Yeah. Uh, the second reason, the <laughs> waiter, I call that uh, reason, not <laughs> fork, because every other person on the table, there is one market, I don't know how. Okay, uh, the second one, it's a large person. And finally, only the third reason, maybe positive in my case, that uh, uh, Hungary, but not only Hungary, Central Europe, a little bit feudal. A feudal verb. Which is the peculiarity of the feudal verb? Landlord, serf, servant. And the communication between landlords and servants, serfs, done. Somebody right from the faculty of medicine, medical faculty, medical faculty, yeah. and uh, faculty of dentist, but it's not, not so same. Medical faculty is the ideal example. If somebody would like to 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 observe how function the feudalism, have to visit to the hospital. Communication don't work. And in my case, because I socialized a peasant environment, a peasant society, I communicate on don't work. It's not my merit, it's normal. I socialize to the equal communication. Therefore, the people not realize that I, I, I have a, a high social status. Because my communication is not a high communication. In Western world is no problem. Because Western democratic society, no communication don't work. So that only feudal. And the feudal environment, it's very easy to realize the direction of communication. If general up and down communication, it's not democratic communication. It's possible to organize election time by time, but not democratic. Okay, turn back to the story. Atmosphere. We are living in the atmosphere, in the down part of atmospherical ocean. Uh, the next one, anthroposphere. Anthroposphere is a quite new category. Anthropo means a human. Sphere, sphere. How we 
can realize, which is the, how we can define human sphere, which is the human sphere, anthroposphere. If somebody would like to drink, eat, no problem. I never ask. <laughs> yeah, because unfortunately in the modern world, the intellectual and physical joy separate. <laughs> I don't know why. So, human sphere, what mean anthroposphere, human sphere? This building, for example, asphalted uh, surface, high race, everything which constructed by humans. Not by chance. The modern word named Anthropocene. No geological age, it created by human. Look at, for example, uh, probably you saw a satellite picture about the night uh, surface of Earth. Lot of lights, for example. Uh, in the United States, in continental part of Europe, a lot of lights. This is the anthroposphere. As construction, which constructed by humans. It's very important because, because the modern human, the modern society, not able to survive without anthroposphere. We socialize to anthroposphere. Uh, for example, one example. For example, some angel took at me and take to the Amazonas river during the night. Probably I am not able to survive one night. And majority of audience similarly. Because we lost the skills of survival in natural environment. But majority of humankind living in natural environment. Only one third, and we are the member of one third of developed countries. Okay? No, sir. Somebody listened about the Nosfer. It's a quite new, in, not quite new. It's uh, invented in the middle of the uh, uh, 20th century by a French uh, monk and scholar, Thea de Chardin. An uh, intellectual sphere. Intellectual sphere. If we are looking at the sphere around the world, there is not only physical world, physical sphere, but intellectual sphere. Like, for example, cyber, cyberspace, internet created one intellectual sphere. It's quite a similar, like biosphere, lithosphere, pedosphere, exist recently an uh, intellectual sphere which all, sorry, whole of the earth. Okay, this is the first geographical sphere. Look at the next, ecological space. Ecology during the 20th century became a global view of civilization. And the central concept, spatial concept of ecology, are uh, ecosystem. Look at one definition. It's a quite long definition. Look at any unit that includes all the organisms. For example, the, the community, community, sorry, in a given area. Very important. Why given area? Because in the ecology, no hierarchy of space. In geography, there is a hierarchy. What mean? Uh, do you know a matyosha doll? Matyosha doll. Small puppet, larger, 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 larger. Take into one to other. It's a matyosha, Russian, Russian construction. And majority of discipline, spatial disciplines, thinking. According to Mathieu Chardot, look at the geography. There is a microspace, middle space, macro space, macro regions. In the case of ecology, no hierarchy. And analyze only the, uh, um, how the name is, uh, analyze only the coherence of ecosystem. Therefore, according to coherence, according to unity, maybe one complete ecosystem, one bottle, one bottle on the pavement, and whole of the earth. Maybe. Not necessary to construct 
like a, a drawer. Take one to other. Specialize and uh, analyze only the unity and coherence. Okay, given it, no hierarchy. Interacting with physical environment, so the flow of energy leads to clarify, define trophic structure, biotic diversity, and material cycle. Okay, the next one, flow of energy. I suppose there is a, a, a physicist in the audience, no? Student of physical sciences, no? Okay, but probably uh, you remember the first uh, law of energy from secondary school. Which is the first law of energy? No energetical, no construction of energy, not possible create energy, only transform. The, uh, sorry, the first sentence. Uh, uh, quantity of energy on the universe constant. No creation, no consumation, only transformation. The energy is constant. It's constant. Look at the civilization, history of civilization, from the point of view of flow of energy. 99 persons. 99% of energy we are using on the earth came or come from the sun, which is the reason of uh, solar radiation, a term nuclear fusion, helium to hydrogen, helium to hydrogen. Then nuclear fusion. The consequence of solar radiation, thermal nuclear, therefore the final energy we are using on the Earth and use the contemporaries in antiquity, uh, Stone Age and, and, uh, and Greek civilization, everything, even the United States under Trump, yes. solar energy, the same, solar energy. On the surface of the Earth, the solar energy transform. Transform by bacteria and later plants who able photosynthesis. Transform a thermal nuclear energy to chemical energy. Chemical energy. Plants transform solar radiation to thermonuclear energy to chemical energy. Not so high efficiency, only one person. One person of solar radiation, the photosynthesis, and on the, on the procedure of photosynthesis, transform to chemical energy. And this is the starting point of chain of consumption, because plants Ate by herbivores. There is a <laughs> very famous graffiti, probably you know, that uh, save the plants, kill vegetarians. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> it's, it's bad joke. Bad joke. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, uh, chemical energy on the body of plants. Herbivores ate the chemical energy, transform on the body, moving energy and heating energy. Chemical energy transform to moving and heating. Herbivores ate by uh, carnivores and omnivores like us and produce chemical energy transform to moving energy and heating energy. For civilization, not important the heating energy is constant, it's necessary. But very important, the rate of transformation from chemical energy to moving energy. In the case of human, in the case of human, 
put it off, is the rate of transformation 18%. 18%, for example, this is the same situation on your case. It's not influence laziness or, 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 or busyness, it's, it's 18 person. If you walk into the canteen, cafe, shop, everywhere, transform on your body a mills, a chemical energy, to maximum 18 person. It's very high. If, for example, compare the trans rate of transformation on the case of the most important domesticated animals, horses, um, cow, for example, cattle and, and goat and sheep and any others, only 10%. No more than 10%. Therefore, before Industrial Revolution, the most efficient transformer of energy human mind. Not by chance that before Industrial Revolution, 70% of energy came from muscle, human muscle energy. Any other from domesticated animals, uh, draw power, uh, simple uh, engines like, for example, windmill or water mills, but dominated by human muscle energy. Why interesting for us? Because this is the basic reason of slavery. Of slavery. Why? Because area where lived very low density of population, Americas, for example, for example, uh, Russia, very popular was slavery. Not by chance. Uh, somebody know uh, in which year prohibited in Europe the slavery? Because slavery is a common practice, not only in the ages, but in the modern time too. Which period? Which century? Okay. Which century prohibited uh, slavery? 18? No. 19. At the beginning of 19. Not by chance, because started Industrial Revolution and inflated these differences. Inflated. Why? Because activated, activated the fossil fuels, coal and later oil gas and, and thermonuclear energy inflated the differences between domesticated animals and the human, uh, human muscles energy. It's not necessary, not important. Uh, but, not by chance, until the 19th century, uh, prohibited, the, uh, prohibited the slavery in the peace treaty of uh, Vienna after the Napoleonian Wars. Uh, I remember that 1815 uh, or 16, I don't know exactly. But not by chance, the last great war on the case of slavery was a uh, civil war in the United States between 60 and, uh, and uh, 65. Because in the framework of industrial revolution, not necessary to take slaves. Okay, uh, flow of energy. Uh, continue the definition, uh, exchange of material between living and non-living parts within the system of ecosystem. Okay, we saw. Look at the mental space. Somebody listened about the mental space, which is the mental space. I know the answer. But not necessarily, not uh, each case is because, very interesting, one of my friends, uh, author, uh, uh, write novels, use three forms of editing. The first one, write, prepare a handwriting. The next phase, type into computer. And final test of, of text, it's reading loudly. Because the nature of text show the peculiarity, different peculiarity on the handwriting version, type version, or speaking loud. And for example, in my case, uh, once happened that I took a question and I realized my normal answer is not true. 
because the lovely communication show some nature of information, basically different manner, like, for example, reading on the paper, on the text. Okay, but uh, uh, mental space. Somebody listens something about which is the mental, pla mental place, which is the difference, is a geographical place or mental space. Yeah, but very, very uh, important that which is the reaction, the normal reaction of, this, of the not only student pupils, that the beaten person. I say to myself, I would like to only survive half hour. Yeah, okay, mental space. Mental space. The projection of space on our brains. The first information about the mental space uh, described by anthropologists. Do you know anthropologists? There, there is a student who specialized in anthropology in the audience. Anthropologists? No? 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 Save the illegal status. No. Okay. Uh, somebody know. Uh, uh, which is the differences between uh, uh, anthropology and ethnography? Ethnographers? <coughs> Say the United States. Eh? Okay. Ethno no ethnographers? Okay, my question. Which is the differences between ethnography and anthropology? Because the first uh, uh, impression is the same. Walking different community described the uh, Customs and methods and living style. But there is some important peculiarity in the methodology. <coughs> Nobody? Silence may be very hard. They are under pressure. <laughs> The basic difference is ethnography founded in the 19th century, classical discipline, like a physics, like a mathematics, like a geography, like history. It's the 19th century. Which is the concept of 19th century? I am the scholar. This is the subject of my observation. I am looking. Yeah, it's, it's probably brown. This is the research, basically. This is my similar, similar uh, performance. This is the basic 19th century. I separate myself the object of observation. For example, in the case of ethnography, ethnographer specialized to <coughs> analyzing one community living in mountain area. On the academical institute, read each studies, books, everything about the community, perform, prepare, write down the plan of research, and finally travel to the community, ask one person, you are male, yeah, I am male, okay, first question, second question, which is your hobby? My hobby is killing my neighbors. Okay, and this try, and finally publish one study. Hungarian, English, Serbian, Croatian, different languages, recent. And this is the 19th century style. And anthropology founded in the 20th century, basically different point of view. Therefore, no preparation, no reading, uh, different information from other scholars? No. We are a white sheet, no prejudice, living together with the community. For example, one colleague at the Central European University, 
I don't remember his name, but I, <laughs> I hope that uh, Michael Stewart was born in London in the 50s and after graduation at the, uh, one of the University of London, Anthropology Faculty, uh, not Faculty, uh, Institute, decided specialized to the Hungarian Gypsy Community Analysis. Traveled to Hungary, arrived in Budapest in the 70s, asked information where living the largest old style gypsy community in Hungary, told to him Shoyu Babu. Bought one ticket, northeastern part of Hungary, very nice place, I visited a lot of times. Uh, and, uh, but I, I have a personal life from my uh, religious childhood education, but turned back, received one ticket to Shoyu Baba, and the gypsy community is living an underclass situation, very bad buildings. And Michael Stewart asked on the bus station of Shoyu Baba, which is the direction toward the district of gypsy community, show East one, moved to one hut, so the building is lower, right? And lived together for three years in the gypsy community. Like a white sheet. And no prejudice, lived together. And after three years, describe which are the peculiarity of the lifestyle of gypsies in Shayuba. It's basically different. Uh, an ethnographer traveled back, take a shower. <coughs> Michael Stewart, <laughs> one a year took a shower, no more. No infrastructure for that. But much more real picture described, draw about the community. Okay, uh, turn back to the mental space. A mental space, not by chance, created by anthropologists. Anthropologists analyzed which are the uh, impression about the space on the brain. Because there are two peculiarity of the mental impression about the space. The first, first uh, result about it was one experiment. The first experiment performed in Chicago, Chicago, it's Hungarian spelling Chicago, but it's founded by uh, French community, therefore uh, it's named in the spell Chicago, it's original French closed version. Uh, Analyzed the mental map, the memories of a, a worker moving on the same trajectory between residence, residence and, uh, and working place. Very important, very important peculiarity of anthropologists. No prejudice, each person received one white sheet and asked him to draw the memory. White sheet, no any information, and very important, very important that realized the first generation of anthropologists that the brain, the most important peculiarity of the brain and the mental space, selection, the people who traveled on the same trajectory for ten years remember only two, three, four, or five items. Crossroads, bus stop, bus station, train station, subway station, no more. Only the place where necessary to decision. Turn right, turn left, up, down. Any other information, the brain lost. Only the important information, say, selection first. Secondly, um, the brain connect to the element, to the part of space, uh, emotions. For example, I socialized in the social state. It's very problematical was crossing on the border. 
crossing on the border. For example, when I traveled to Romania during the dictator uh, Ceausescu, it was very hard control, very hard control. And I remember when I approached to the boundary, my stomach up. And very interesting, on the frame of European Union, the border control general So deep socialization. Therefore, other info important information, there is emotion, emotional relation to the space. Selection and emotion. Very interesting this map because it's uh, a normal geographical global world map which published in Australia. But for us, it's very strange. Why? Because for Australian, the central part of the world, Australia. You know, United States, very thorough, very thorough, very important. It's an objective, objective geographical map which show a mental elements. But much better, mental map of Paris. It's quite early mental map of Paris. Uh, not so much, not so large community. I remember 300 Parisian inhabitant of Paris, draw mental map. And very interesting, the first Seine River. Somebody visited in Paris yet? Okay. Majority of people know that it's, it's, there is a, a river. It's take a half one and other part of, uh, of Paris. Uh, this is the winner. The second one, outskirts of Paris. Why? Because inner parts, downtown of Paris, it's very, very expensive. If somebody visits in Paris, much cheaper the outskirts. Therefore, the majority of people had information about the outskirts. The third one, Etoile Art de Triomphe. Uh, it's uh, a little bit less than two-thirds of uh, participants of uh, experiments had information about it. And uh, a little bit more than half uh, draw into the map, into the white sheet, a Notre Dame, a very ugly small church in the middle of Paris. And uh, uh, five is a Tour Eiffel, you know, it's, it's a very important symbol of, uh, of, uh, of Paris, but uh, very important to know, according to original plan, had to deconstruct after the third exposition, but uh, so uh, expensive de of uh, deconstruction left. Uh, until now. And very interesting, the last one, the sixth one, the Olympic point uh, winner, is Bois de Boulogne. Somebody know French? Bois means forest. Forest of Boulogne. Boulogne this is a, a settlement. Why remember? A little bit less than half of participants of experiment of Bois forest, Bois de Boulogne. Which activity connected? If somebody visited in Paris, may have food. Which activity concentrated to Bois de Boulogne? You can guess. Half, almost half of people, not only remember, but was able to draw into the white sheet the location of forest. It's a guess. Maybe because there were all the couple of uh, uh, stable uh, celebrations. No celebration. No fast celebration. No carnival. No sport events. But uh, there are children. No? But do they go there in their free time? Free time is, is good direction. No, no, no. no walk, walking, some kind of walking. Yeah, yeah. Prostitution. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
this is the this is the whole of prostitution. Each form of prostitution. It's a highway prostitution. It's a, a building uh, connected prostitution. Everything. This is the prostitution. And very important, very very interesting information. Very interesting. Why? Because uh, in the communication, in the science of communication, there is a special category: energy of information, which is the energy of information. Who are the most important consumer of prostitution? Male. Middle class male of up. And look at, for example, in the experiment, has 50%, no, 40% person male, 40% female, and 20% children, 10% adolescents. Therefore, <laughs> the potential consumer. 90%. Look at the reason. Almost each of potential consumer remembered the name and was able to draw into the map. Therefore, according to energy of information, this is the most energetical. Okay, this is the space. Look at the time. Look at the time. Uh, if we are looking at the time, which are the uh, concept which are the uh, frame of uh, timing structure. The first one, astronomical experiences. Basically, there are two calendaries on the verb. Sun calendaries and moon calendaries. Sun calendary, this is the global calendar uh, in consequence of European globalization. But do you know moon calendaries? Which civilization used moon calendaries? Arabs. Arab. Muslim calendar. Muslim calendar. For and and Jews calendar. On Near East, this is the most popular form. Jews and Muslim calendar based on moon uh, month. The second one, after agrarian revolution, improved and not improved, increased the importance of vegetation periods and appear a season, the seasonal separation of time. The next one appear after appearance of a great religion, appear a liturgical hours. For example, in the Muslim culture, how many times necessary to five? Five times. In the Christian, in the traditional Christian, how many times? It's not exaggeration, it's normal, four or five. But uh, this custom saved much deeper in the Muslim culture. Majority of Christian world is Habi Christian, like me. It's a Habi. I have a free time, I walk into the church, I try to communicate. Yeah, but uh, uh, in my case, it's uh, very complicated because I'm a Calvinist. Uh, it's by chance. I was born in the eastern part of Hungary, everybody comes. That, I was very surprised when I moved to Seged, for example, here now. Uh, yeah, the norm is changed by time by time. And very interesting, the case of my son. Because I am a simple question, simple problem. I am Calvinist from eastern part of Hungary, but everybody Calvinist. Uh, and uh, my, my, uh, my uh, wife a little bit more complicated. Because he, she, sorry, uh, she... <laughs> But uh, sometimes I told to him that you are a man. Yeah. Because uh, uh, unfortunately, she, <laughs> unfortunately, in my point of view, uh, 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 she would like to be a man. Uh, and uh, and uh, it's uh, uh, his fail that uh, it's uh, effort, no successful. But okay, but it's not the political correct communication, it's cancelled. Uh, anyway, turn back. She, two third Rome Catholic. And one for Jews. <laughs> it's open question for my son. There are three global religion. <laughs> and not able to, to, to select which is the best. Sometime visited in, in the uh, Rome Catholic Church uh, and other times uh, uh, Calvinist and, and recently not able to decide which direction optional uh, for, for him. It's, it's very interesting uh, dilemma. What 
Dynamo uh, in this point of view. But uh, liturgical hours became a most important uh, short time divider of traditional life. For example, if you open a diary and the timing that after the first mass, second mass, or first, basically the liturgical hour divide the traditional mass life. The next one, mechanical hours. Somebody know in which century appear um, mechanical clocks in Europe, because separately appeared in the Korean and the Chinese civilization, the mechanical clocks, but look at the uh, Europe. In which century? You have to tell one number. Less than 21. 70. 80? 80? One? No. 11, 11, 12. 11 or 12. 11? No. 14. 13th, 13th century, For quite early, quite early, a mechanical clock. But I call your attention, first generation of clocks, where is the chart? First generation of clocks, it's uh, uh, in, in logical manner, turn left to right or right to left, no standardized. Some city tower clock turn left to right, other right to left. Left to right, right, and the local people know which is the right direction and realize which is the uh, time. But very interesting and important, in the 18th century, on the century of enlightenment, everything standardized. Everything, meter, metrical system, and the term of, uh, of clocks, everything. And after the enlightenment, the direction of turning of clock, left to right. But some cities, the old style clock survived. If somebody visit in Prague, not so far from Hungary, Prague, in the district of Josefo, the clock saved the traditional system. Turn right to left. And I saw a tourist spirit. How changed the time? Inspired. <laughs> like, for example, science fiction movies that uh, not uh, running but going back <laughs> the time. But mechanical clocks appeared in the 13th century. Okay, which device is used? The first device is for uh, timing a sundial. It's very simple one stick, one stick. And the shadow of stick show uh, the time, how uh, spending the time. But the weakness of sundial, cloudy weather, and during the night is not work. Uh, introduced even the Phoenicians in the Mediterranean culture, the containers, water clocks. Its function, probably, weather situation and during the night, flowing the water one to one, one container to other. Incense burn. For example, in the Buddhist monastery, Buddhist monastery, this is the timer, for example, 10 minutes, 10 minutes incense burner or 20 minutes and longer. Uh, somebody uh, watched a movie about the master of, uh, of Bruce Lee. Uh, recently there was a, a movie, uh, I don't know which master, somebody know? Kung Fu? Is nobody interested for Kung Fu? Nobody? Okay, but uh, in uh, uh, China, you are Chinese. Okay. Uh, Kung Fu? Orientation? No? <laughs> Cancer? No, no, no Kung Fu. Uh, I don't know, I don't remember the name of uh, this Kung Fu master. Kung Fu master lived in Hong Kong. Uh, nobody? Maybe Ip Man. Ip Man! Thanks a lot. Who, who was the... Who helped me to... Okay, thanks a lot. Ip Man, Ip Man. He was the master of Bruce Lee. And very important, for example, the, uh, organize the, the fight on the table, round table, round table, and fire, burn one instance burner, and five minutes, ten minutes, it depends on the on the on the uh, form of the fight, and the winner was who stay on the table when the instance burner is burned down. This is the time timer, it's clock function, and the candle 
play the same function in Christian monastery. For example, if somebody has to pray, for example, five minutes, ten minutes, receive one candle. And finally, up here, uh, final devices of timing, mechanical clock. Good, but look at the science, look at the disciplines, look at the disciplines, how thought about the time. The first historical time conception was the linear, irreversible, and cumulative historical concept. What mean? This is the one definition from, uh, one uh, uh, item definition from three direction. Which is the linear? The classical linear used by Greek, used by Roman historian, uh, medieval historian, and, and modern historian, even the Karl Marx, probably you know the name, uh, use the linear concept. Which is the linear concept? The linear concept means that history flowing continuously one point to other. Look at, for example, the Karl Marx linear historical concept. The history, according to Marx, but not only contemporaries uh, agree in the same uh, concept, starting in the Stone Age, archaical Arch community, a Stone Age, continued a slavery on the society of slavery or antiquity, and <coughs> feudalism, capitalism, Communism. One direction. No up, down, one direction. This is the linear concept. Started and continued from the start point to the goal of communism. So, sorry. Irreversible. What means irreversibility? Irreversibility means flowing only one direction, no back, no time machine. No time machinery construction, uh, possibility of construction. No going back on the time. Only one direction. If somebody happened, it's done. And cumulative, cumulativity means that uh, all generation historian imagine a history like a giant puzzle. A giant puzzle which growing. It's very confused metaphor, but I know better. A giant puzzle which growing. And the task of historian take on the soil a piece of puzzle and take to the right place. And the mission of historian find the right place for each historical event. And finally, if we are looking or historian looking the giant puzzle, able to understand the meaning of picture. In the, some period, for example, early Middle Ages, there is a five meters and two pieces. But some historian somehow tried to construct all of them. Real or not? I don't know. Anyway, this is the classical historical concept. Flowing, one direction, giant mass. But, very important. At the turn of 19th and 20th century, appeared a new generation of scholars, salary-oriented scholars, uh, economists. This is the industry, age of industrial revolution. Founded a lot of stock of exchange. Do you know what is the stock of exchange? Stock of exchange, everybody. Uh, do you know, for example, a birth? Do you know? Uh, I, I suppose majority of audience watched the, uh, which is the name, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. Majority. For disciplinary ambition, I suppose. Uh, the basic problem, the basic problem of the of the actor uh, playing by uh, by uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, it's possible forecast the future or not. And the mentor of him is not possible. Necessarily gathering the money <laughs> and burning for different uh, money. Cocaine and others. 
that I have a personal experience, it's not the consumption of cocaine, but uh, uh, once uh, with my family, I visited with, uh, on, the, on the Lake Balaton during the summer time, and unfortunately, once, uh, I opened too quickly to the room of my daughters, and my daughters with the uh, telephone card is very similar to the credit card, take the next Nesby cacao, it's a stripe. And I was very surprised. <laughs> I asked my daughter Esther, sit down please. <laughs> and I told to him, this is the, uh, the play of rich man, I'm not able to find us. <laughs> If you say if you left uh, on the consumption of Nesquik at all, but it's possible. But uh, told to me that uh, once on the movie uh, somebody tried to uh, take uh, uh, loading up uh, a stripe and uh, first time uh, tried with uh, with uh, sugar powder, sugar powder. It's not uh, so good, but uh, with Nesquik cacao it's uh, enjoyable. I suggest to you if somebody would like to take the first step in this direction, Nesquik cacao is the best. Okay, but turn back. Which is the most important? Which is the possible way? Possible way uh, for forecasting the future? Two direction. Two direction. First direction. Time series analysis. Look at, for example, look at, for example, how change the prices, the salaries, the production in Western world. For example, we are receiving a different time series, different graphs, and analyze. If we are able to realize cycle, which is the cycle? Repeating, repeating, repeating. And able to realize this cycle here and buying bill of exchanges here, low price, we earn unbelievable lot of money. Not by chance, the best economists at the turn of 19th and 20th century specialized to time series analysis and try to identify cycle, repeating cycle, repeating cycle. Uh, some example I showed to you, for example, a kitchen, a British scholar identified a 40 month long cycle. Jubilard, a French scholar, identified a, a six to eight years long cycle. And finally, the Russian scholar, Kondrakev, identified uh, 40 to uh, 60 years long cycle. Okay. Good. Uh, okay, this is the last slide today. We try to memorize and I start to...